First item on our agenda is to accept or modify the agenda. Is there a motion? Madam Chair, I move that we accept the agenda as presented. Second. All those in favor, aye. Aye. Motion carried. Thank you. Community participation. Is there anyone who would like to address the board?
June 1987 for 37 years in education. During her tenure, she completed classes at Longwood College, Virginia State University, James Madison University, University of Virginia, and Virginia Tech, as well as numerous vocational conferences. She also recruited teachers for Warren County Schools. I think I hired you, hired you back to do that. <laughs> so, um, she's received numerous recognitions. Among them, the Front Royal Women's Resource Center, hats off, 2017 award. And she is an NAACP member honorary award in 2007. And she has a quote Proverbs 3 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not rely on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make you straight your paths. So, Mrs. Sloan, if you want to bring your, any of your family members, they're welcome to come up here too, and we'd like to present you with this.
Next up, Alston Boulder is going into the United States Marine Corps. Elizabeth Keener is going to attend West Virginia University. Maureen Coons and Savannah Hafer are going to attend James Madison University. Then Lindsey Johnson is going to uh, attend Virginia Tech. And Keegan Brady is going to Bluefield College. So we celebrate National Decision Day to recognize all of our students for their post-secondary plans, to encourage and remind students that it's time to make a decision, to support the best match and fit for each student, to motivate and excite our younger students because these students are leading by example. Well, whether, whether they're going into the military, going straight into the workforce, perhaps they're going to attend community college, Perhaps they're going to uh, attend a university, but we want to celebrate all of them, and we want to support support them as they take this step. They've been in, uh, been with us for 13 years since the big step we made. And next up, we'd like to share a video uh, with you from our Blue Ridge Technical Center. And again, it, the theme is "I Can Do This Because." Thank you. 
speaking with Ms. Baker at the Blue Ridge Technical Center, we thought it would be more appropriate for you to see what our students are learning and what they're able to do in, in their natural setting. Several of those students are going on to uh, a continued career technical training next year, and some are going straight into straight work because of the training that they received at the Blue Ridge Technical Center. But next, we do have a, a group of students, some from Warren County High School and some from Skyline High School, here to celebrate Warren County Public Schools and to share a little bit about what they're going to do next year. And I don't know who's going first, so I'm interested to see. Well, hello, my name is Michael Silek, and I'm a senior at Warren County High School. I currently serve as the senior class president and as the president of the Interacts Club. I'm also a member of the National Honor Society, the marching and concert bands, as well as the varsity golf team. And after I graduate on June 1st, just a month away, I will be continuing my education at the University of Virginia. At UVA, I plan on double majoring in astrophysics as well as computer science, which is actually a passion of mine that was cultivated by one of my teachers, Dr. Castor. I also plan on being a member of the Cavalier Marching Band as well as a member of the Student Government Organization at the University. After graduating from UVA, I plan on pursuing a doctorate in astrophysics and working for the Northrop Grumman Corporation. And if my life goes as planned, I will be working on an initiative to move manufacturing and agriculture off of Earth's surface and into our orbit. Now this is an initiative that will significantly reduce our impact on the environment and preserve our standard of living for generations to come. This is also an initiative that will take over 100 years to complete. It takes a significant amount of self-discipline and drive for an individual to spend their entire life working on a project they know will not be finished in their lifetime. And this is the type of discipline and drive that I received from my education at Warren County High School. Over the past four years, my teachers have motivated me to pursue my dreams and have laid the foundation for my future. And I am forever grateful for the educational and extracurricular opportunities that have been given to me at Warren County. And no matter where my future takes me, I will be proud to call myself a Wildcat. Thank you. Michael is actually one of the few people I've ever met in my life that I said I would love him to run for president. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, my name is Molly May Metter. I've been in the Warren County Public School System my, all my life, and I will be furthering my education at Virginia Tech. I'm a first generation college student, and then without my teachers, I would have never thought that I would be able to go and attend a university. It was through the drive that I've had since my very first club, which was an international club that exposed me to different cultures and ethnicities and gave me my first leadership role as being president when I was a freshman. From there, I moved on to the Kiwanis program where I was president of Key Club, and I further that educated myself in how to help the community and better front loyal. My junior year, I did something that has impacted my heart and my passion for community service. I started a program called Future Einsteins at St. Louis Public Library. This is a program I run every single month in partnership with the library and funding through Kiwanis where young children in elementary school and middle school are able to have hands-on free STEM experiments, something I wish I had as a kid, and showing them that they can pursue a career past high school and in something that is so exciting, such as STEM. My passion for STEM started when I applied and was accepted to Mountain Vista Governor's School for Science, Math, and Technology, which is something I'm so grateful and fortunate to have been offered in the Warren County School System. From then on, I started an internship at Pink Concussions, a nonprofit organization focusing on traumatic brain injuries in females. This was something very important to me as I have as I had, had five concussions in my life, one affecting my eyesight and needing glasses. From then on, I wanted to study gender research and neuroscience, and I went on to pursue a lot of research and attend symposiums, meeting people and researchers from Harvard, Stanford, Johns Hopkins, these profound institutions where they were researching something so enlightening and something so passionate to me that I wanted to pursue that as well. Attending Governor's School, I started a research project that furthered my uh, education and my research capabilities and led me to win multiple science fairs and strengthen that passion, something that didn't go unrecognized and something that Mr. Dr. Smith made sure I was aware of. These teachers held my hand but pushed me instead of holding it gracefully to always pursue those dreams and to never stop. 
It's institutions like Warren County and Governor's School that teach kids that, yes, you can be educated, but you can do more than be educated. You can understand the material and then use the world as your, your template. Your experimental design is not beholden to the school, but is the whole world, and I hope to continue that at Virginia Tech. I'm a senior class president, and I am also a member of National Honor Society, and as mentioned, I'm the president of Key Club. These have showed me that I can be a leader, and I can have peers, that I can be strengthened among. And I plan on continuing that at Virginia Tech as I study neuroscience and computer engineering. And I thank you, and I thank my teachers, and every single one of them, none above the other, but all above me. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Kaylee Folks. I am a senior and soon to be graduate of Warren County High School. Um, throughout high school, I have been involved in Interact Club, um, NHS, where I'm vice president, and I am a four year member of both varsity soccer and volleyball. Next year, I will be attending, attending Virginia Tech. Go ahead. And um, I have been accepted into the School of Engineering and Honors College. Um, throughout my four years of high school, I've been truly blessed with amazing support from teachers, coaches, and administrators. You know, our small town community creates an environment where I have developed personal connections with my teachers, which makes me so much more appreciative for all they've done for me. Um, I've had an academically challenging but rewarding high school career. Um, the classes Warren County offers have assisted me in developing a strong work ethic, as well as study routines that I believe have helped me succeed in college. And none of this would be possible without my teachers, of course. Um, my teachers have gone above and beyond their role as just high school teachers, um, coming in early to help me with AP review for tests, um, writing the letters of recommendation for scholarships, which has had a huge impact on me, and um, even serving as mentors in my field of interest, which is engineering. Um, one example of many of teachers who have done these things for me and more is Dr. Castor. Um, I just talk about him because I've been in three of his um, AP classes now, and while they've been the most difficult on my class load, they've also been the most enjoyable and rewarding. Um, he has really stepped outside the boundaries of being a teacher to become a mentor for me in my future major in engineering. In the past, I have firsthand experienced prejudice and backwards mindsets about some males in um, in the field of engineering and how they feel about females in STEM majors. Um, in contrast, Dr. Castor has served that nothing is a positive role model for me, encouraging and motivating me in a way that has reaffirmed my love for math and science. In transitioning from high school to college, my positive experiences with Warren County's public school leave me with no worries that I will be successful in Virginia Tech School of Engineering. I move forward prepared, motivated, and determined to succeed as a direct result of my time at Warren County. So I thank you guys for the opportunity to speak and um, just encourage you to keep supporting our teachers so they can have incredible impacts on lives just like they have mine. Thank you. Hello, my name is Riley Hirsch and I'm currently a student at Skyline High School. I began applying for college in August of 2018 and was accepted to my top two choices, UVA and Virginia Tech. Although both schools provide a great education, I committed to becoming a Hokie and accepted my offer of admission from Virginia Tech. Um, I was accepted to their School of Science and plan on majoring in Biomedical Science and Engineering. I've always enjoyed school and challenging myself to take the hardest classes Skyline has to offer. I've completed over 40 college credits just through attending dual enrolled classes offered at Skyline High School and an additional four credits through online classes at LMCC. I've been a part of my school's varsity volleyball team for three years now. I was also nominated as president of the National Honor Society. I'm proud to say on May 11th that I will be graduating LFCC with a certificate in general education. I've taken classes ranging from AP US History to AP Literature to AP Calculus. I've been blessed with the opportunity to take these classes to better my education and get prepared for college these next four years. I realize these rigorous classes seem agonizing, but the hardest classes contain some of the best teachers. My teachers at Skyline High School have been preparing me for college since my first day of eighth grade. Teachers here at Skyline care about their students and take the time to make sure each student understands the material. I built bonds with the teachers and administrators at Skyline High School. I will miss them tremendously and their help will follow me through my years spent at Virginia Tech. Thank you.
members. I don't know. That's a little bit personal. Hello everyone, my name is Wen Long Lu. I am a senior in Skyline High School. And today is my sixth year in the United States. I'm from China. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, <laughs> first uh, two, three years in uh, Skyline High School, I was struggling so bad with like my language, everything. And throughout all the teachers' help, like, during the weekend, we would go to the library and the teacher would be there and help me. Ms. Lewis, my math teacher, and Ms. Hawkins, my English teacher. Um, so proud of myself. I mean, I joined the Navy two months ago. Yeah, after high school, I'll be going to Lake Michigan. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, I, I did not speak any English. Wow, you're doing an excellent job. Very good. Uh, hello, my name is Hunter Joseph, and um, academically, I'm kind of nowhere in that line, but I was... Uh, How about wrestling? Wrestling, yes, man. Um, <laughs> Succeeded in wrestling, I kind of just swayed away from academics. I got lazy, I was like, oh, I can do all this and I don't need any of that. And then, but when it came down to senior year in colleges, I didn't want to do anything. And I was being pushed by teachers, mainly Mr. Uh, Waters, my coach, and all the administration. They were, or administration, they were kind of like in my ear because they didn't want to see me just go nowhere. So uh, that was probably the biggest reason I am not going to Bluefield College. I'll be wrestling there. Um, there's scholarshiping me for wrestling, but I'm also going academically for criminal justice, which uh, I'm hoping to be in the Department of State. I'll be interning. I'll have an internship with them over the summer. This summer, uh, it's like foreign affairs and counter threat with them. Um, but yeah, the, the administration and teachers is kind of the reason I'm going to college in the first place, so I'm thankful for them because they're giving me the opportunity to actually do something with my life and I just go down. <laughs> I'm being with you. <laughs> What's that? Uh, I mean with them. That was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> was a good one now. Um, so, thanks for having me and have a great night. Thank you. speaking. Um, I'm always amazed at how you young people can get up and speak and do so well. Um, I've watched a lot of you grow up. I know you don't know I've watched you, but I've been to wrestling matches. I've been to volleyball games and I've seen people in the bandstands and uh, I've, I've seen you and I wish you nothing but the best in your college career and in all of your endeavors of the future. You, you have a lot going for you. Thank you. Okay, superintendent report. So just, just a quick word before these guys run away, and then you can run away. I think you can run away. I just I want to thank you for coming out. Uh, it's been a pleasure to watch you uh, learn and grow through your high school career. Um, like, like was mentioned, you know, we all are watching what you're doing all the time, and uh, it's great to see uh, our students grow into young men and women. Um, when I see this kind of thing, I have no doubt our world's in good hands. So thanks for what you did. Right. And, and thank you for the support that you gave and uh, the accolades that you gave to your teachers and your mentors and the administration. Without them, we would be lost. We do have a fantastic staff. Great. Thank you. Anyone else want to say anything before we take off? I know Mr. Williams will. Absolutely, Madam Chair. Um, Young wrestler, the mat will open a lot of doors for you, and it'll push you through. You just have the same determination you had on that mat when there was 15 seconds left, and you were down by the one. I'm sure you remember those days. Yes. So, the education is where it's at. You'll do well. The other group, I was kind of like him. <laughs> <laughs> My hat's off to every one of them. Very well spoken. I mean, just truly amazing. What, what you stand for, 
how you carry yourself, keep on those dreams. They will come true. And to Mr. Silek, that's that's tough, knowing it's a hundred year endeavor and you won't see the end result. So that's that's true drive. I mean, I do that that amazes me. I mean, because today's society is instant gratification. I wanna see it and do it now. You know. So a uh, young man going in the Navy, congratulations. Uh, the ladies, wow. I, engineers, something physics, I think. I can't remember. I'm sorry. It was too much. It was just like, wow. And, and I apologize, but, but Virginia Tech instead of UVA, come on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You're, you're, you're a great school, but that's, that's awesome, and congratulations to each and every one of you and to your parents and for the support you gave your teachers. You, you, believe it or not, you helped them grow. You really did. So, thank you. And make sure you go home and thank your parents. Absolutely. Anyone else? Okay. You want me to leave, go home, do homework, <laughs> or hang out? I mean, these last four weeks of school. <laughs> thank you. Superintendent report. The only other thing I would like to say in my report is that um, the next Tuesday at 7 p.m., uh, the Board of Supervisors is going to be voting on the county budget. And the schools, as you know, is a big part of that budget. Uh, the main component of the school budget is getting the funds to be able to change our teacher salaries to be more competitive. And that is, that is a push that, that we have uh, tried as a board for many years. We're on our way there. Um, this could be phase one of a three-year phase that would make us competitive in the region and would change what we're able to do about retaining teachers. So I just encourage everyone to support um, the Board of Supervisors and their decisions. It's a tough one. It's a tough one for our community. But at the end of the day, strong schools make a strong community. And we all know that. And the stronger we can be, the better our community will be. So that's all I know. Thank you. Um, school board reports. Mr. Williams? Yes, Madam Chair. It's hard to believe I was sitting here reading in uh, 30 days. The children graduate. I mean, it's hard to believe it's already there. Uh, it's been such a quick year, I, I feel. Um, a lot to be proud of in that group, in, in every group. I mean, the construction, the, the video that Mr. Fox had put together is just, just wonderful. I mean, the amount of nurses and, and electricians and uh, plumbers, auto mechanics, welders that we turn out, those are invaluable trades in today's society. So they should get the same accolades as everybody else. And uh, I'd just like to see it continue that way. And to echo Mr. Drescher, I, I hope and pray that uh, the May 7th the vote goes in our favor for our budget, not for us. Doesn't affect us per se, but it affects a lot of lives of, of our teachers. Um, and I hope to make Mr. Smith's job a whole lot easier so we don't have the turnover. And the video, those students show how good our faculty really is. So we need to, as a community, as Mr. Drescher said, take care of those folks. I mean, bottom line, it's a tough decision, I know, but as Mr. Drescher said, we've been working on it for years. I've been here about four, a little over four now, and ever since I've been here, we have talked and talked and talked, and I think this year's year needs to happen. And we need to continue just to stay in touch and take care of the children as we're supposed to, not only as a school board, as, but as a community. That's all I have about to share. Thank you. Mr. Rosen? Um, yeah, I'm not real happy with what I'm going to tell you all, but it's time for me to come off of the board at the end of this year. Uh, so I'm just letting people know in the press that I will not be pursuing the uh, position as chairman of the board from the Shenandoah district. It's been a lovely time with you guys. It really has it's been quite a learning experience. Uh, probably a little more, a little harder learning, learning curve in education than there is in healthcare. Time. But I uh, thank everybody who's helped me and I uh, hope that I've been able to contribute a little something. Yeah, but we thank you. Uh, Mrs. McKeever. I think Mr. Williams and Mr. Drescher said it best. Um, 
at the at the other artists. Uh, thoughts and uh, it's been an amazing evening here this evening. We have a lot to be proud of. Thank you. Ms. Wells? Um, I'll, I'll echo what everybody has said. Um, because I have the longest tenure, I guess I have the longest institutional history. Um, we were at a crossroads when I came on the board in 2002. And the Board of Supervisors at that time had the wherewithal and the, the gumption, for lack of a better word, to move forward with a, a building plan that had been long dormant. And we can see what became of that. Um, we're at another crossroads. Our Board of Supervisors, um, as, as Mr. Williams and we've all pointed out, we know where the money comes from. It, it doesn't fall from the sky, it doesn't come off the tree, it comes from taxes, it comes from folks' pockets. But our community needs good, experienced teachers. We, I've said it before, we keep turning them out for other counties and we need to put the brakes on that and we need to step forward and do something for our teachers and make sure that there's a future for this school system. I hope that they will make the right choice. I, I, know, it's, I know it's tough and they just need to keep their vision forward and, and move forward with what's right. And well said, I agree. Um, we were given, the, given these nice sheets of the schedules of every, all the different activities to plug into between now and uh, the last day of school. There are a lot of things there. I hope that we can each find two or three to attend. Um, I know I received an invitation the other week for the prom last Saturday for Moore County High School, and I have gone to the prom as a school board member before, but if you know me, I'm, I'm really, what's that? I, well, that's, that's exactly what I thought. They really don't want to see an old woman in a prom dress. Plus, I'm a blue jeans person, and it's really tough for me to get into a dress, and you know, I just thought, let them have their life and enjoy it. But do take the time to look this over and see if there's something you can attend. Uh, there are a lot of theater productions that have been going on. Uh, they wrapped up last weekend and choral concerts, so a lot of different things to uh, take a look at. Action agenda. Approval of February 2019 DSBA School Board Policy Updates. Mr. Shepard. Thank you. In February 2019, BSBA submitted 51 policies for consideration by the Warren County School Board. A chart showing the updated policies has been prepared by staff members noting the proposed changes. An additional 16 policies are presented for review but have no recommended revisions. The first reading of the proposed changes was the April 3rd school board meeting. The second reading of the policies and an opportunity to discuss the changes was at the April 17th school board meeting work session. The recommendation for the uh, tonight's meeting is to approve the policy updates for inclusion in the Warren County Public Schools Policy Manual as recommended by staff. I'll be happy to answer any questions. I think we've all had time to go over everything and ask questions um, over the past month, unless anyone else has. Any further questions on the policy? No. Something like to offer a motion? Madam Chair, I make a motion to move the February 2019 DSBA policy updates to be approved for inclusion of the Warren County Public Schools policy manual as recommended by staff. Second. All those in favor, aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. I think you're going to be standing up there for a few minutes. Right? Yeah. There you are. Approval of custodial services contract update and renewal information. Thank you. On January 1st, 2015, Warren County Public Schools entered into an agreement with GCA, GCA Education Services to provide custodial services for all Warren County Public Schools. Warren County Public Schools renewed the contract with GCA 
for the 2016-17 school year, the 2017-18 school year, and the 2018-19 school year. The recommendation is to renew the contract with GCA services again for the 2019-20 school year. GCA has agreed to keep the cost the same as the 2018-19 school year. The contract price for July, July 1st, 2019 through June 30th, 2020 will be $1,959,502.80. The contract price shall be paid in 12 monthly installments of $163,291.90. The recommendation is to approve the amendment to the service agreement with GCA Education Services and ADM Company to extend custodial services from July 1, 2019 through June 30, 2020, contingent upon the adoption of the fiscal year 2020 budget. Just a side note, um, the number of employees that have remained with Warren County Public Schools since the transition to GCA Education Services is 26 employees, which is about 51% of the custodial work staff. Be happy to answer any questions. Ms. Shepard, is this the last year the board has to go back out with it? That is correct. Oh, of course. Yes, we will go out with it likely February of next year. 21. Yes. All right, thank you. So I'm going to offer a motion. Madam Chair, I move that approval be given for the superintendent to sign the amendment to the service agreement with GCA Education Services Incorporated and ABM Company to extend the custodial services from July 1st, 2019 through June 30, 2020 in the amount of $1,959,502. And 80 cents contingent upon the adoption of the physical 2020 budget. Second. All those in favor, aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Approval of contract for asbestos removal at AS Roads Elementary School. So, a quick note before I start reading this um, the bids for AS Roads renovation will be published. Um, the RFP, the bid invitation will be published in the newspaper or the Virginia Daily and Winchester Star this weekend. So we are out for bid for the renovation of A.S. Rose Elementary School. And this is separate from the so, uh, It is. It is. Prior to the renovation of A.S. Rose Elementary School, asbestos will need to be abated. There is approximately 600 linear feet of asbestos pipe installation in the crawl space and 6,500 square foot a floor tile in the hallway in several classrooms. There may be some additional abatement needed in the floor mastic. As the asbestos abatement removal is occurring, the floor mastic will be tested to determine if it contains asbestos. If so, we will have the floor mastic abated. All the asbestos at AS Rose Elementary School is encapsulated and not harmful to our students or staff. Asbestos needs abated when items containing asbestos fiber is disturbed. The recommendation is to contract with Apex Companies to abate the asbestos at AS Rhodes Elementary School. A Apex has determined the cost of the abatement for the pipe insulation and the floor tile will be $55,115. The cost to remove the floor mastic if the floor mastic contains asbestos is $4,250. The total cost would be $59,365. Apex has a cooperative contract with Prince William County Public Schools, which contains la language in Section 38 that allows Warren County School Board to contract with Apex for asbestos removal. On the cover sheet, there is a summary of the work that's going to be provided, and the recommendation is to um, contract with Apex companies for the abatement of asbestos at the AS Roads Elementary School. And these are the only areas that have been determined to have asbestos. Yes. Yes. Any questions or discussion? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Madam Chair, the only question I have is they intentionally put, I mean, most of the pipe is in the crawl spaces, I understand what we've heard, but they put in there about the soil in the crawl space. Is it all soil underneath there? I mean, I've never been in that crawl space with the gravel, I don't know. It is 
there is soil. I'm not sure if there's gravel or not, but it, it is not a hard surface like concrete or anything. So like I guess that. my question is, they're tearing out this pipe insulation, and some of it falls, whatever it gets in the soil. Where does that leave us, viability wise? They can come back and say it's going to cost more. They could. They could. I mean, and it's and there will be. Them. I'm there sorry. will be a person there monitoring the asbestos yeah. abatement, and they will do tests as the um, right, the abatement true. is ongoing. So we will know immediately if there is um, any type of. By reading, I mean, is there a thorough? I mean, that's the way they test and, and all that. But I guess the question, the real question is, are they going to put down this clean or plastic, whichever you want to call it? So debris does fall, and it's wrapped up instead of. This falls where it may. And, yeah. and My experience falls. with asbestos removal at Rusty Jeffries Elementary School, the answer is yes, they did that. Cool. So let me make yeah. sure that that's part of this um, as contract as well. Just so we don't get a file away. Question. Is there a motion? Uh, Madam, <coughs> excuse me, Madam Chairman. Thank you, asbestos. A move approval be given to contract with Apex Companies LLC for the abatement of asbestos at AS Rhodes Elementary School not to exceed $59,365. So seven. I'll second it. And just want to point out since we, we are on the video, uh, the, the ability of school systems to utilize contracts that are created for other school systems. Mm -hmm. We're using one that prints William as we, we've done that in numerous contracts and actually some have tagged on to <laughs> our contracts just so that we can assure the, our citizens that we're getting the best price and the best value for what we're doing. And uh, with that, I second the motion. Very good point, Mr. Lovett. Yes. All those in favor, aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Approval of Food Management Services contract. Mrs. Shepherd. Thank you. On Thursday, February 14, 2019, Warren County Public Schools advertised a request for proposal for a food service management company for the purpose of entering into contract for the operation of a food service program for our school system. On Monday, March 4th, one firm, Sodexo, attended the mandatory pre-proposal conference. On Friday, March 22, 2019, Warren County Public Schools received one proposal in response to the RFP from Sodexo. In Sodexo's pro proposal, there was, no there was no cost increase for the administrative cost or the management fee. Sodexo's administrative cost remains at 16 cents per meal, and the management fee remains at 13 cents per meal. The management fee will not be paid unless the program generates a minimum guaranteed financial return of $72,750. The agreement includes the following. $72,750 guaranteed return, $6,000 annual scholarship, $6,500 backpack contribution to the backpack food program, $2,500 grant to introduce new programs in Warren County, $1,000 contribution to the Warren County Education Endowment. In Sodexo's proposal, there is an option for the current food service employees to become Sodexo employees. The recommendation is for Sodexo to employ all food service staff except the administrative assistant, which includes the following. All employees will receive a 3% pay increase. If an employee is making less than $10 per hour, their pay will be adjusted to a minimum of $10 per hour. Sodexo will increase all employees' workday from five and a half hours to six hours per day. Sodexo will pay employees every two weeks. Sodexo will offer employees a 401k retirement plan, which will match 50 cents for every $1 an employee contributes up to 6%. Sodexo will offer all employees health insurance at a premium equal to or less than their current health plan. Sodexo will offer employees a comparable health care plan to all employees except the current employees enrolled in the Key Advantage 250 who will be offered the Care First 1000 Health Insurance Plan. Sodexo will offer all full-time employees tuition assistance 
up to $2,500 per year for pre-approved culinary or food service courses. And so that so will keep the number of sick leave days the same as Warren County Public Schools. The recommendation our recommendation is for Sodexo to employ the food service staff uh, with these with these um, recommendations. Be happy to answer any questions. So the working schedule will be equivalent to the school days. That is correct. So um, food service staff currently work 183 or 186 days. They come in a couple of days before school starts and then maybe a day after the you know, time they come So, uh, and school is 180 days. Any more comments or questions? Is it uh, you know, I mean, we discussed this pretty thoroughly at the you know, work session. Now, uh, Mrs. Shepard's had a chance to refine it and work with the uh, so uh, looks like a little for our employees. I mean, they've already been working yeah. with Sodexo for years, and uh, it's great to help their last school in the cabin. Not just a woman, but a woman's also. And, and for the school system, all this scholarship will come to the end. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think everybody wins in this scenario. I can't see any negatives. One of the things that I didn't mention is our, um, if the food service employees move to Sodexo, they may be eligible for unemployment during the summer months, which currently they are not eligible for unemployment during the summer months. Madam okay. Chair, I'll make a motion. I move approval be given to contract with Sodexo for a food service manager company. With all current food service employees except the administrative assistant transforming to Sodexo's employment on July 1st, 2019, I further move upon approval of proposed agreement by the Virginia Department of Education. The superintendent is authorized to sign a proposed Sodexo food service management agreement for the 2019-2020 school year and accept any administrative non-material changes as required by the Virginia Department of Education. Second. All those in favor, aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. That was a long one. Discussions by school board. Special board meeting date. Um, Mr. Thrasher, do you want to talk about that? Next, next uh, Tuesday evening, the board. Of, next Tuesday evening, the board of supervisors, as you mentioned, will be voting on on the county budget. Depending on what they do with that, and we just really don't know at this point. We will need to make some decisions rather quickly um, in terms of setting priorities. If we get the full amount that we've requested uh, and you've approved, or we get something less than that. So we thought it would be um, beneficial to that process to meet as soon as we can after that meeting to hear what they did, and if we have any direct feedback from them uh, in terms of the amount that we're going to get. So um, we may not be able to make any decisions that day, but we certainly could have a discussion about this is what we know we're going to get if we do, and uh, help us, you know, guide the priorities of what we want staff to work on. So we'd be ready the following week to uh, uh, approve salary scales and move forward with our budget. So we're getting we're getting to the point where it's, it's we're we're getting to the point of being late. Uh, in terms of offering contracts, um, it, it's going to impact us even now, um, being not being able to do it before this date. But uh, the quicker we can do that, the better. Okay. I know some of us have already discussed uh, meeting Wednesday morning. Uh, Mr. Wells is not going to be able. To, you're not going to be around today. Are, are you going to be around Wednesday morning? What's the date? Eight. Eight. Oh, next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Right yeah. Sure. Nine o'clock in the morning, okay. and that works for you, Mr. Williams. Yes, ma'am. Yes. We can do it. Okay. <laughs> 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 we'll be. It'll be very quick. We may not have a lot of information other than knowing what passed and what didn't. But, but I think it's important that we meet. If we can't meet before the next week, I do. Yeah. I guess I do have well, two questions, Mr. Yeah. Crusher. One that. Board of Supervisors meeting at 7 p.m. the night before, right? Yes. Okay. Um, 
And then you said we're kind of late getting contracts together. Is that because the board of supervisors are late getting the It's been a more drawn out process okay. this year than normal. Yes. Okay. All right, thank you. So, okay, so 9 o'clock Wednesday, May 8th. Okay. And Mr. Dreschel will have coffee and breakfast for us. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nine, 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 nine. Nine, nine, nine. 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 Nine, nine